everybody, Big Dan from Emotiva here. I've got an exciting announcement for you about a new product. Well, the one sitting right in front of me here. The Mighty Basics MR1 AV Receiver. Yes, you heard it here, folks. An AV receiver from Emotiva. They said it couldn't happen, but it did. You know, we've resisted building AV receivers for a long time because we are a, quote, separates company. And we thought, well, we can't build a receiver because we, we, we make separates. But I've been hearing from customers, and the team has been hearing from customers for so many years that they'd like us to build an AV receiver, Emotiva style, that I finally got through my thick head and I said, yeah, maybe we should build a receiver. So, welcome to the MR1. Now, this is not any receiver. This is our version of an AV receiver. And what does that mean? All well, that, if you know Emotiva, that means power and more power. And not just dumb power, but intelligent power and efficient power. So let me go over some of the features of the new MR1. This is a 13.2 channel receiver that is its native decoding capability with 11 channels of internal power. If you decide that you got to do 13.2, you can add a stereo amp to get another pair out of it. But honestly, we did a survey with our customers and the most typical configuration we see is 5.2.4 or 7.2.4. And if you're doing either one of those implementations, you've got everything you need right here to do it. If you decide to go crazy and add a couple more channels while well, you've got preamp outs to take care of that. In a minute, I'm going to turn this thing around and show you all the features on the backside. This is a fantastic receiver. It's a beast. It's 160 watts per channel into 8 ohm loads, 290 watts into 4 ohms. Think about that. This is an AV receiver. Now, here's a number you're never going to see specified on anybody else's AVR. All 11 channels driven not a couple of channels driven, all 11 channels driven, this baby will do 100 watts RMS into 8 and 130 watts RMS into 4. Continuous, real power. Okay, nobody else will rate their AV receivers that way, but we rate this exactly like we rate our power amps under the worst case FTT, FTC test conditions. You know, we don't mess around and this baby is a powerhouse and we're really, really proud of it. Speaking of power, let's have, how do we get there? How do we do this and how do we have this thing not explode in your cabinet? Well, it's very simple. It's got intelligent power. We're using our Class H amplifier technology and power supply design from our X-Series amplifiers on the Basics MR1. Here is, well, let me find the right thing. Oh, here is the Class H power supply board. Okay, this is a switched rail design. So at low signal levels, it runs on a lower voltage rail to minimize uh, dis uh, quiescent losses or dissipation is what I was trying to say. So, and as the signal goes above a certain amplitude, the higher rail switches in and allows the transients to pass unclipped and deliver real power at the same time when you don't need it, you're not dissipating all this energy and heat and wasted power. So this is the brains and the heart of the power supply. These are Emotiva specific low ESR, 105 degree rated caps. They're beautiful. And uh, this is a great power supply, and it's derived directly from our X-Series amplifiers. Now, you can't have power without a big power transformer, and we do not skimp on this. So I'm going to reach over here and try not to drop it. Oh, God, this thing's heavy. All right. This is a 1,000 VA rated toroid power transformer. That means it's a 1,000 watts or 1,000 volt amp rating power toroid. Now, you know, I've got a giant melon. And look at the size of this transformer. This is a beast. And look how thick it is, the cross-sectional area. It's huge. And this baby is at the heart of your MR1. And in a minute, you'll see it sitting in the chassis. And I'll try not to drop it this time. I dropped it in one of the earlier rehearsals of this little video. So I'll try not to do it this time. It is quite heavy. And then what drives your speakers? And here you go. Our exclusive short signal path, class AB audio design. It's using the same big power devices as our X-Series amplifiers. The front stage that is left, center, right, they're doubled up pairs for extremely good current delivery into low impedance loads. And uh, the reason I can get away with this single heat sink is because of the Class H design. I'm not wasting a lot of standby power heating up the, the heat sink unnecessarily. If you're really romping on this thing or you have it in an enclosed a cabinet, you know, like an AV cabinet or, you know, a typical closet or something. It does have thermostatically assisted cooling 
that is dead silent. You won't know it's on. But so you can you can tuck this away in a cabinet without worrying about it overheating. But in normal operation, with just an inch or two around it uh, for ventilation, it just runs barely above room temperature. You know, another thing we've done here is we put the nice remote control from our new MC1 processor with this baby, and it lights up. Custom remote control. Oh, let me talk about this remote. I was talking to a reviewer that has a, a preview unit of this uh, thing, and he was blown away because you can trim the heights, the center, the surrounds, and the subwoofer on the fly in real time without having to dig into a menu. And he goes, nobody does that. Why does anybody do that? I said, well, we've been doing that at Emotiva for 15 years. All of our processors allow this. It's to us an essential function of a remote control. No getting into the menus. If you want a little more center, a little more sub or whatever, you just do it on the fly without a big drama. Nice remote control, easy to use, very straightforward. And, uh, you know, I just thought I'd point that out, another Emotiva exclusive. Let's talk about the front panel, your day-to-day -day use. Once this thing is set up, and by the way, all you're setting up is done over live audio and video on your, on your, on your screen. What you see is what you get. That's our, the way we like to run. So your EmoQ, your room setup, it's all done over live audio and video. You want to make any adjustments to your EQ after it's set up, after you run EmoQ, you can do it in real time while you hear the results of what's going on with a nice, clean, graphical OSD. Okay, so it's really easy to set up and use. So once you've done all that, you've got a real simple front panel for your family and day-to-day -day use. You've got standby button, your main volume encoder, you push it to mute, you've got your source select, and your mode select, and that's it. You don't have to mess around with a bunch of buttons and hidden doors and, you know, secret handshakes to make it work. It's just, you just use it. You know, it's designed to be non-intimidating. It's very powerful and very flexible, but people don't know how to use half the stuff on their ABRs. You know that. If you've got one and you've got a family, everybody calls you up, you're on a road trip, how do I, how do I turn on the hi-fi? How do I watch a movie on this thing? This thing, you just turn it on, select the input, and you're done. Okay, let's talk about the features and inputs and outputs. It's six by two HDMI switching. It's full 4K rated, 18 gigabits per second. It does Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10+. Plus. It does everything you need it to do for modern 4K high definition switching. It has eARC, so if you're a gamer and you've got a PlayStation or an Xbox and you want to do high bit rate, low latency gaming, and you just run the eARC up to your monitor, run your game right into the monitor, and you've got all your lossless codecs playing back to the MR1. Now, I know a lot of guys are uh, infatuated with 8K, but there is no 8K content. We all know that. The only need for higher speed, high frame rate video is for gaming. And if you're running a game, it goes to your display and you don't want any repeaters or any added latency or propagation delay through the system. Go straight into the display with your game, bring the uncompressed multi-channel audio back out through the eARC connection and you've got everything you need. Simple dimple, done, okay? Enough about that. So very solid, very stable, and you've got double outputs. And oh, what's cool about this, you can select the outputs on the fly here on your remote control too. We've got preamp outs for all 13.2 channels. And typical of Emotiva, we have balanced subwoofer outs for both subs as well as single-ended. You've got plenty of analog inputs. You've got a pair of digital toss link and optical ends. You've got the ability to use it as a USB DAC if you so choose. Aptex Bluetooth. Comes with a free antenna, include it, no extra charge. Don't try to take it off, it's permanently attached. You've got remote output to trigger that external lamp if you decide that you're gonna run another pair of channels. You've got IR in if it's in a cabinet so you can run an external IR uh, repeater into it. You've got your USB update port, uh, your, and you've got a, a ability to add automation with the RS-232 for remote control. It's got hard commands if you want to implement it into a, uh, a home automation system. Now I'm going to unplug it and swing it around so you can see the controls for yourself. Ah, look at that. Look at this beautiful little rotating table that Nick made. He's a genius. Look at that. So there's your input and output functions. You can see all your preamp outs. The top Speaker connectors are the height channels, and the bottom row is your bed, or the bottom, or the, what we call the bed layer, all your main speakers and your lower surrounds. It's simple, easy to use, easy to hook up, pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, we'll go into it in more detail in some future videos, but I'm going to get you to the part that excites me. Let's take a look inside this baby. 
Now that I've unplugged it and I won't kill myself, I'm gonna take the top cover off. And here's where all the magic begins. Solid metal, by the way. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'll say it again. You see this front panel? This is milled aluminum plate. CNC milled, machined out the, the, the Lexan window. It's all machined out of solid milled aluminum. No plastic, no, tick, 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 you know, no twisting it off and having it break. It's built like all the Motiva gear, built like a battleship. Look at these cross braces in the chassis. Look at the strength of this thing, okay? It's built like a battleship. It is designed to be a serious piece of kit. And like all Emotiva products, everything plugs in and is modular. So in the future, if we decide to do an update, the DSP is, is plugs in, we can update this unit and keep it current with technology standards. We don't build disposable products with plastic face places and unimprovable uh, designs, okay? Um, over here we have the main toroid, as you saw when I swung it around, your main power toroid, your Class H power supply controller, your main audio section, here's your main DSP, we use analog devices Shark, our favorite Shark DSP, very powerful. And then here is a really neat feature, we have discrete resistor ladder volume controls, very high dynamic range, very, very good tracking, and they don't have the, the, the voltage limitations of monolithic solutions. So that's an Emotiva exclusive, but that both the MC1 and the MR1 share. Very, very nice piece. Tucked way in here, you can't see them, but there's, a, there's three thermostatically cooled fans that don't run until things get warm, and then they ramp up slowly, and they run their, their speed changes with the ambient temperature, so you never hear them under any kind of normal condition. The mighty, mighty MR1. Look at this baby, I'm so proud of it. It's a monster. It is, you know, it's just, I can't say enough good things about it. It's the first of a series of receivers from Emotiva. We are building them the way that we like to build things, which is tough and overbuilt and extremely durable and upgradable over time. And the price of this monster, believe it or not, is $19.99, $1,999. I don't think there is anything on the market that comes even close to it for price, performance, and what about it? Power. So much power. A uh, reviewer has a pre-production piece and he is ex he's overwhelmed by how dynamic and musical it is and how much headroom it has. And you're going to feel the same way when you get this baby into your house. So without wearing it out, the Emotiva Basics MR1. Try it. You'll like it. I promise you. Take care, guys.